So why is it so many fail in network marketing and how can you avoid making those same mistakes? What I'm going to cover in this short little slide video is three of the main reasons why you'll clearly know how to succeed. You'll know what to do. Doing is a different thing, but knowing what to do to succeed will be will be uh, obvious and you should have a little success with your business now for those of you that do not know me my name is jay carden i run the website or blog jaycarden.com i'm in network marketing affiliate marketing internet marketing and all those things but network marketing has been my primary business and everything else revolves around it and you know i've signed up hundreds of people into various programs and i can assure you I would not have done that had I made the mistakes that so many have made and I want to show you what those are so let's get into it and make this as quick as possible the painful reality of it is that most network marketers will not speak to enough people plain and simple they do not speak to enough people uh, I've seen a statistic one time that showed that 80 percent of network marketers will not even speak to more than three people about their business okay 80 percent eight out of ten will only talk to maybe one or two people they'll probably get told no i'm not interested and they give up that is the truth that's the painful reality of it and another statistic shows that 80 percent or more of the sales your first sale comes around the 12 maybe sometimes 15th contact anywhere from 5 to the 15th contact uh, it can take for 80% of your first sales so most people get you know 20% of the way to their first sale maybe 10% of the way and they quit they're like well it doesn't work you have to talk to massive amounts of people there's however you get that message out it can be through you know messaging people on e or emailing uh speaking to them in person running ads etc but you got to reach a lot of people that's how it works and most people are just not going to do that so keep that in mind if you hear that network marketing doesn't work most people fail keep in mind the reality of that is is over 80 percent should fail because they won't even speak to more than three people so if you plan on speaking to massive amounts of people going one after the other after the other and going through them as quick as possible and reaching out to as many people in a day as possible you will see success you will see results what the results may be different story but either way you'll get something another one is they say too much and this might be the first you know being a um, new network marketer or unexperienced as soon as somebody says yeah yeah what is it you're doing you know they go straight into sale mode about like oh my products are you know made from some magical bean and you're going to love it everybody loves it nobody hates it everybody gets a result and they believe that their product is for everybody However, everybody may be able to use your product doesn't mean it is for everybody. Not everybody wants it. So saying too much is what turns a lot of people off. To be honest with you, the less you say, the more likely they are to show up for a presentation. Say, for instance, you meet somebody, you're talking to them, you ask them if they're open to taking a look, and if they say, yeah, what is it? You'll go into, oh, it's this and this, you can make this. If you sign up this many people and then you know you'll make two percent on this and five percent on that and they go in all these details and the person's like um yeah my you know I'm, my cousin did one of them things and i turned them down too and they they, they didn't make any money so that they, they they create this um image of your business that's just not true so what you need to do is be in a hurry simply tell them like Hey, I got to go. I got to be on a call in like two minutes, but it was good talking to you. And uh, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you or someone you know happen to be open to making some extra money? And then let them say yes or no. And if they say, yeah, what is it? 
Well, you've already told him you got to be on a meeting. So be like, hey, you know, I would love to explain more. So why don't I do this? Give me your name and number and your email or your contact info. And I promise you, I'm going to follow you each time. And now you've got someone who most likely is going to show up to see the presentation. When before, if you talk too much, when you go to call them, if they agree to the call, they most likely don't even show up because they already know what it is. The point of them not knowing what they're about to watch is key. And if they see the presentation, they'll see other people they don't know having success. They'll see that they're joining uh, successful people and not this new person that they know who they know has no success. So it's really important to say less to more people and don't vomit information out the mouth. That is, that's what causes, that's what turns off a lot of people and leads to only speaking to two or three because you, you feel silly after they turn you down. So here's another problem I've noticed. The third one is people are always waiting till they learn enough to go out and talk to people. Um, you'll have some people come in. Uh, one guy explained it to me like a football game. You're at a game. Your top network marketers are the ones actually playing the game. And then you have a lot of people in the stands. They're just fans. You know, they like coming and watching the game. They don't play the game. They want to play the game, but they watch and, you know, fantasize over playing the game. In network marketing, there's going to be a lot of people that, you know, they join opportunities and they stay and they don't quit. They stay in the game for years on end, but they the whole time they never speak to anybody. And the thing is, is, for instance, I had one team member that every time we were on a call or a meeting, you know, this person was always there. But they would always ask, well, I need to know this. If the if they ask such and such, how would I reply to that? And and some of these questions I'm thinking, well, I've never been asked that, you know, but, you know, this is how I would handle it. And they're holding back because in their mind, they came up with another question that could be asked if they were to prospect somebody. They're like, you know, getting this down to where they'll be super perfect when it comes time to prospect. And what happens is they stall and they never, ever build because they're always trying to learn a little bit more in case this happens and a little more in case that happens and they never get anything done. The best way to learn is to just go in at it. You know, um, I, I would rather you say too much than wait until you learn. OK, um, going about it and doing it is the way to learn. And you'll never be prepared for every single question that could possibly be asked. but letting that shouldn't hold you back you should go out there blaze of glory and start talking it happen and don't worry about a question that you don't know as a matter of fact i get asked questions like that all the time and if i don't know it i'll just tell them like hey I, you know i don't know the answer to that question like like what country is the products you know the 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 plants grown in that make the products and all you know i don't i really don't know all that i know like what they are and how to make money and how to build a team so that's what i know so anyway <coughs> sorry about the cough i had a bad cold over the week during very bad so getting over that but let's move on do an overview real quick so now you understand why so many fail they don't speak to enough people and when they do, they say way too much or they procrastinate and they never get around to prospecting. Avoid those three things and do the opposite of what most people are doing and you will see results. That is the bottom line. You'll get somewhere. So last but not least, I'll throw this out there. If you are in a network marketing business or, you, or, or you're not happy in your business, you're looking for a new business, or if you're just now looking into network marketing, you can click the link below and take a free tour of what I'm doing. Now, it's rather neat because it's free to be in it, and I'll actually build a downline for you. Get this. I'll 
build the downline for you. And then if you want to join later, that's great. You can you can get in. But in the meantime, I'm going to be building you a team that you just because you took a free tour, you can be locked in to go in and take advantage of the downline that I build at any time. So if that interests you and you want to possibly have some success in network marketing, you should definitely just take the free tour, check it out and see for yourself what I'm talking about, because I will put a lot of people in your downline. And if you decide, hey, I think I can make this work, then go ahead and, and you can work directly with me and my other team members. If you're happy where you're at, you can still take the tour just to see. And if you think that you want to generate leads for your business the way I'm generating leads for mine, you know, I'll be happy to reach out and work one on one with you and help you to get whatever business you have moving. So, guys, thanks for watching and take that free ride and that free tour down below and see what I can do for you. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye for now.